Alright, uh, this mission and cover uh, level 8 of the Craven campaign and ground control. Uh, this is the longest mission so far. Um, Dropship entering atmosphere. So you got a number of things to do in this Dropship mission. Entering and uh, we really have to take our time if we want to survive this. Recommendation. We got two dropships again. And um, we've brought two light pterodynes, two main battle pterodynes, two infantry squads, but most importantly, uh, we have two artillery units, which we've brought with us. And the artillery is crucial in this level, because um, there's a number of. Um, outposts that we have to engage without the use of our direct fire units um, simply because uh, they're too heavily defended okay. and we're gonna have to use indirect fire to take them out from long range all right so we're gonna start moving our guys up to the first outpost that we need to attack okay, commander, we're moving out. and then uh, we have our tanks all moving in a line um, at the four of our uh, forces here, and then we've got the APC along with the two artillery units um, tailing behind. And you want to stop um, pretty far outside the range of this outpost. Um, there's this Ares Pulse turret um, here that we managed to get our tanks. Uh, firing on, but it doesn't seem to be able to see us or shoot us back, Enemy which is good. Destroyed. And our Area first outpost is going to be inside of this little crater here. So we're going to have our artillery set up and then uh, get them to um, artillery moving out. using the control button, uh, blind fire on the ground there. Enemy structure destroyed. As you can see, we've already started to take out some of those structures. For with that first salvo, and I wanted Enemy to move them up a little bit, seven. and uh, we've got them firing destroyed. once again. And our tanks are uh, facing off against the medium hoverdynes that have come to the defense of the outpost. And I decided to move my APC up so that I can heal uh, whatever damage that my pterodynes are taking. Squad 7 recharging. Area targeted for bombardment. I decided to move the artillery up for a couple salvos to uh, Enemy attacking squad eight. help finish off these hover dynes. As you can tell, they kind of see that coming charging. though. Enemy hover dine destroyed. Squad but the artillery was still close enough to do Area some damage there, so. Enemy attacking squad two. Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. Squad three taking friendly okay, fire. Commander, we're moving out. Squad seven recharging. Squad three taking uh, friendly fire. Reposition my tanks a little bit so they can get better Enemy aim on the advancing destroyed. units. Squad three taking friendly fire. Enemy Need to drop a repair module uh, use on my uh, main battle pterodynes because they were taking a little too Enemy much damage. Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. Squad seven recharging. Enemy infantry destroyed. And uh, as you can see, Enemy I believe, um, okay, well, we've taken out a barracks. Uh, most of these outposts have um, the heavy turrets, uh, I believe they're called Guana, or Guam turrets. Um, uh, basically, they're the um, big ass turrets that just shoot the crap out of your tanks and they can pretty much destroy our units um, any of them in just a couple shots so <clears throat> it's more than critical that um, the outposts uh, be destroyed from long range for the reason we just kind of move our fire around and make sure that we're hitting um the rest of the buildings, and you'll know when we're done. Engage and destroy the retreating crusaders before they can reach the safety of their base and reinforce. Um, we don't really have vision on those crusaders, so that's going to be kind of hard to do. But um, if you want to shoot them, I would suggest moving your fire um, 
somewhere about where the screen is right now. Which is what I'm kind of trying to do at the moment. Um, although I don't think I'm going to end up hitting them because they might have made it out of the way uh, in time. Yeah, I don't think Area I take any of them out. Right. It's time to get our units moving out. Moving at once, Major. Moving right away, Major. Squad three recharging. Move order received. Artillery moving out. Start getting our pterodynes moving. Okay, Commander. And then the APCs yes, of the Major, artillery. Moving out. Okay, Commander. Okay, Commander. We're moving out. Okay, Commander. Right. We're moving out. And there's another uh, Ares 4 pulse turret that's Enemy to the side of the base here. We didn't destroy fully yet. Enemy but, uh, destroyed. We easily overcome that with uh, combined Move fire. Received. You got enough units at this point. Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. There's some scout hover bikes that were there. Okay, Commander. And now we need to start um, securing a uh, firing Move position received. for artillery Enemy to work against this uh, next pair of outposts Move that are ahead of us. Destroyed. There's another pulse turret we took out. Artillery moving out. You always want to make sure that your artillery isn't too far behind uh, your main force, because um, okay, units Commander, can approach from behind you. Enemy attacking squad uh, three. It's not necessarily they will, but it can happen. As you can see, this is that turret that I was telling you about that's firing on our tanks now. Pretty much two hit kills. Um, that's able to score. And it can fire on us way before we can actually see it, which is a problem. So we're just outside of its range right now. Um, it's time to get our uh, artillery on the case. Um, I picked up this imaging um, ability, and honestly it's not one that I've used very often but it doesn't seem to really do much. Um, I believe what it does is it gives the unit um, a larger range of sight, but in the case of our artillery, um, they're almost always going to be firing so far away that even the enhanced vision that I believe that that device gives is not going to be useful in Enemy reality. Um, the Aerodynes, on the other hand, that do have that same ability, the imaging, um, upgrade thing. Uh, that is more useful, however, because those are usually um, used as scouts and, and can be used. To, so, I believe, um, is that our, nope, that wasn't our turret yet. I'm gunning for that uh, big turret we saw earlier that was, uh, took out my tank. There it is. As you can see, that's the wreckage from it. Um, Enemy structure destroyed. Yeah. Pretty much um, wherever those big turrets are, um, you always usually artillery have to find some out. kind of secondary. Uh, accidentally moved yes, my artillery Major, there. Out. Instead of um, having them fire. Area targeted for bombardment. Area targeted for bombardment. And um, once that big turret's down. Uh, we can actually move our um, tanks a little bit closer to get um, actual vision of what we're shooting at. That way we can finish off the outpost um, in a more timely manner. Instead of just uh, shooting randomly until we hit it. And as you can see, um, there's actually no buildings that far behind. The outpost is actually much closer. Alright, so these next three outposts are all going to have those um, 
big turrets uh, uh, we just saw here. Um, so once again, it's um, range is the word of the day. And we're going to switch our artillery to start firing on the uh, sensor location of our next um, base, which is just about here. And uh, we should start seeing it soon once we start destroying the Area smaller buildings. And I'm kind of just moving my artillery fire around right now to get an exact uh, idea of where it is. And um, another thing to keep in mind is that longer ranges artillery becomes more and more inaccurate. Um, and that can be useful um, depending on whether or not um, you're trying to fire in a right spreader. Oh, we took out the big turret. Um, so we know uh, the exact location of the outpost now. Um, so we can uh, focus our fire. And with that turret gone, we can actually move our forces up, uh, knowing that we can uh, have some impunity there um, without our tanks being um, vaporized, basically. Artillery moving out. Enemy infantry destroyed. There's a single crusader there. Can't move there, Commander. Negative, Commander. Okay, Commander, we're moving out. Warning. I'm moving my guys the up. The is picking up incoming order aerodynes on fast attack vectors. They have a lock on the enemy base, but the aerodynes will be here in less than 20 minutes. Alright, so um, basically this mission has a timer. And um, a little over 10 minutes has just passed, enemy so... Essentially, you have around 30 minutes to complete this level um, before those aerodynes show up. And with the last 20 minutes, we get a timer now. Area um, and uh, it could be also um, triggered by the destruction of our out, uh, the outposts from previously, but I believe that the mission is timed overall. Enemy structure destroyed. Um, either way, um, so we still need to move around patiently, but we can't um, screw around too much or else we'll pay for it. Because we don't have um, really any anti-aerodyne support. Um, you can try to bring some... Um, but uh, at this point I don't think we have anti-aircraft uh, vehicles available yet. I think that's the next mission, to be honest. Yes, Major. Moving out. But, uh, either way, we'll be alright. Um, if, uh, you feel you need extra time against those aerodynes, I would suggest maybe bringing, um, at least one set of deployable anti-air turrets with your light pterodynes. If not two. And, um, I believe, uh, yeah, the base is actually on this lower section of ground, not the upper section that I attacked second. Um, that was, uh, something I realized a little bit later. Enemy structure destroyed. As you can see, this is where the base is. So when you start firing, uh, right about where that Ares turret we just destroyed is. For this is about the exact location of that base. Once our next start st uh, shots start landing, we should be able to see it. Enemy structure destroyed. Yep, there goes the big turret. Now we can move our tanks up a little bit. And, um, no sign yet of uh, those enemy units we were told about. Although there's some Templars right there. Um, <laughs> Enemy Lucky for us, their fire is being Squad blocked by those trees friendly. that they're hiding behind. Squad six taking friendly fire. Squad so we're doing pretty charging. good. Enemy attacking Squad oh. seven. Nope, not those Templars are taking friendly fire. Enemy infantry destroyed. Now. Unit lost. Squad seven. Moving. They're able to shoot uh, around okay. the trees with those final few shots, which took out one of our tanks, but we're still okay. Artillery moving out. We've only lost two tanks so far. This is pretty good in this mission, to be honest. 
And we're definitely uh, halfway done by this point. Alright, so the west gun hole is right up there, and once again we need to move our Enemy units back. Squad okay, two. Squad six recharging. Start taking some damage. At least we know where the Guam turret is, uh, up on this ridge Area exactly. So we need to fire on that and take it out. Um, okay, Commander, we're moving out. Then kind of get our uh, squad of pterodynes up on this ridge to finish off whatever buildings we're are still we're left here, which happens to be the voltage house. Alright. With the destruction of that outpost, okay, this triggers this message Enemy from our uh, command AI. <clears throat> Apparently, uh, Order doesn't like that, so they're gonna try to send some tanks Area against us. For Area for but I'm gonna put down some artillery Enemy fire on the path of approach. Let's um, make sure if they do three. come, Enemy that will be alright. More Templars. Sure, we'll order quickly received. deal with. Move order received. And we've got artillery Area fire now coming down around uh, the suspected um, path of approach of these enemy armor units that uh, this lady was referring to. But I don't see anything yet, so we might okay, just continue commander. onwards and say screw it. Squad three recharging. Because uh, that last warning of attack was a false promise, as we know. So yeah, I don't think there's going to be any more uh, enemy units. You know, it was a bunch of crap. Area targeted for bombardment. But just in case, I only change one of my artillery units uh, to fire on this ridge up here, while the others continue to lay or the other continues to lay suppressive fire on the approach. Understood. I'm on my way. Then again, that might not be the right approach, so... But I'm still not seeing... Oh. Okay, here are the enemy armor. Seems like, uh... I was wrong with my... Uh, guess earlier. And there's, uh, heavy pterodynes... Or heavy hoverdynes up there. Um, which we need to be careful for. But, um... What they don't see is they're about to get screwed up by our artillery. And um, with this angle, they're having a hard time hitting our tanks, so we're going to keep them there to keep the hoverdynes from moving. Enemy attacking squad six. Enemy hoverdynes. Even though uh, our units are in a bit of a disadvantage, technically the artillery is uh, making up for that. We got some enemies. Uh, Coming squad to us from the side there. Fire. Squad seven recharging. Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. Move order received. Squad six taking friendly fire. Enemy attacking way. squad seven. Okay, Enemy command. infantry destroyed. Uh, got some infantry to worry about. Squad seven taking friendly fire. Enemy My uh, infantry use their anti-tank rockets and take Enemy out those heavy hoverdynes. Seven. Squad seven taking friendly fire. Moving out. Enemy infantry destroyed. Squad 7 taking friendly fire. And I think Enemy that might have been the infantry destroyed. that was being referred to earlier Squad that finally made fire. it here. Enemy infantry destroyed. But uh, it seems like our artillery has done a good job at wiping out Squad those attackers. Check the sky to make sure it's clear of uh, artillery fire of my own before moving my units up. And uh, start getting the uh, tanks up on this okay, ridge here. Commander. Or start moving charge. against yes, the final Jack base and wipe out what's left of this last gun hole. Moving at once, Major. And I got my APC to repair my uh, pterodynes. I use a uh, last Squad repair module because okay, I just don't have the time to uh, wait around okay, to, for the APC to repair everybody. Move order received. Enemy attacking squad oh, two. Looks like we've got some uh, more three, medium hoverdynes. Use those uh, advanced HE rounds. Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. And quickly take out several of them. 
Squad 3 taking friendly fire. Enemy attacking Squad 3. Looks like they're running off. A bunch of wussies. Affirmative. Move order received. Affirmative. Attacking. Enemy hover gun destroyed. He's anti tank rockets on that other one. Units aren't doing any damage whatsoever. Are you bringing the tanks? Alright. I'm take out that voltage house and we'll finish off that gun. Um, gun nest there. And getting everybody else moving up. Alright, I'm starting to hit the voltage house. Squad four recharging. And we got um more of those big turrets that are gonna be defending uh the space. The outpost itself. And we got ten minutes left to take it out. And then get out of here. Understood. Affirmative. And she's got to destroy all gun emplacements destroyed. Alright. Artillery moving out. They've taken out Move all the gun received. emplacements, uh, like the lady said. Moving. Looks like we got a recon pterodyne, or aerodyne, uh, came in. I'm gonna have to pull back because it looks like we're in range of Guam turrets again. Area targeted for bombardment. Those things just, uh... Squad 6 taking friendly fire. Enemy attacking squad 2. Okay, squad commander. 5 recharging. Squad 6 taking friendly commander. fire. Unit lost. Ah, uh, lost another Unit tank. Lost. Squad 6. Ooh. Two tanks, okay. that's not good. Enemy infantry destroyed. But, um, artillery is doing most of the damage in okay, this mission anyways, Enemy and that's still destroyed. good, so. So we need to start leveling this base and aiming for those turrets. Enemy infantry destroyed. Squad 3 taking friendly fire. Special weapon loaded. And uh, we've got our Janus warheads Squad saved up, so we're gonna use those. Which costs massive bombarded. damage. Enemy infantry destroyed. Think of them as like mini nukes or something, essentially. But they're not really nuclear. Enemy structure destroyed. Area uh. targeted for bombardment. And uh, looks like that Enemy imaging thing actually destroyed. helped this time. We we're able to get a, a view of those turrets and took them out. So now we can start shooting up this base. Enemy attacking squad five. Squad Looks like five we got another aerodyne force. coming in. Enemy structure destroyed. Area targeted for bombardment. Oh no, Templars from the ridge. Unit Not lost. good. Squad two. Uh, losing more tanks. Enemy attacking squad two. Unit lost. Squad two. Squad two recharging. My forces are starting Enemy to take some. Uh, Heavy losses now, Enemy attacking squad five. but we're still, um, I would say around 75% effectiveness. Okay, Enemy have a gun destroyed. Unit lost, squad two. Alright, squad, squad two is about to get taken fire. out, so Enemy we need to have them hang five. back from here Unit on lost, out. Squad, squad seven taking friendly fire. Enemy structure destroyed. Squad five recharging. Squad six taking friendly fire. Enemy structure destroyed. Area targeted for bombardment. All right. Move it out. I believe there's more Guam turrets uh, inside destroyed. the base. Ah, uh, to the side, but we're gonna still approach anyway. So artillery moving. We need out. to get a little bit closer here. Moving. Squad seven Enemy taking friendly fire. Looks like we got more Templars on the ridge. We need to watch out for. Moving. Move order received. I'm gonna try to hit them with the artillery. I'm not trying to lose any more tanks to them. Uh, I got one more Templar coming back and hitting our artillery pterodyne. Yes, we got the Templars on the ridge. Enemy infantry but that artillery destroyed. fire, that was nice. Okay, Commander. 
I got Crusaders on the ridge too now. Okay, so get moving, cause okay, these guys are gonna mess us up like this. Squad five, okay, As you can see, now we've got visual on that Guam turret. You can just barely see it right now. Next to that barracks. Squad six taking friendly fire. Yes, ma'am. Move order received. Affirmative. Position acknowledged. Move order received. Squad five recharging. Area targeted for bombardment. Uh, Girona turret. Girona. Girona. I don't know. Whatever. Tier seven. Um, yeah. It's freaking ridiculous turrets. Squad eight Enemy structure destroyed. Special weapon loaded. Enemy attacking squad five. Uh, squad four recharging. I'm gonna take it out before we fully enter the base, because as you can see, it's already trying to shoot Enemy my units. It just destroyed. can't get a good uh, shot on them at the moment. Enemy attacking squad so five. that's why it wasn't Enemy firing. Alright, we got five squad minutes left, so with those turrets gone. Um, okay, oh. Looks like there was one more. Forgot that they usually come in pairs. <laughs> or inside the base, anyways. Let's use a Janus warhead to get this over with. There come the Janus words, I think. Ah, uh, they're there. Enemy no. structure destroyed. Alright, now we need to start destroying the uh, base structures here. Squad six taking friendly fire. Move order received. Okay, Commander. Enemy attacking squad three. Squad six taking friendly fire. Enemy uh, we've got uh, destroyed. enemy tanks here. Move our infantry up squad so they can use their um, anti-tank weapons on them. Our artillery is already Understood. coming down where those uh, enemy, enemy tanks have approached from. I'm on my so that's good. Move order Understood. I'm on my enemy paradigm destroyed. Anti-tank rockets and the heavy hoverdynes. Enemy attacking squad 3. Unit lost, squad 6. Enemy infantry destroyed. Alright. Got a... Uh, Enemy squad Hardine 6 destroyed. and Squad 2 now squad both down to one return. tank. We uh, Enemy almost squad got seven. rid of all of them. Squad seven taking friendly fire. Enemy uh, that's destroyed. it. Alright. So yeah, like I had mentioned early on, Enemy artillery is, is so crucial in this mission. But um... Yeah, it can definitely be helpful to uh, use this video to find the exact locations of objects to, so you can fire on them uh, without having uh, visual. So, that's a definite use uh, for this video that um, definitely beneficial in this level. Right. Now with the outpost completely destroyed, it's time for us to move out. We need to get out of here fast, because those aerodynes are going about to be right on top of us. And we can't really afford to lose any more units at this point. Back to retrieval point. Alert! Radar picking up incoming order aerodynes. All right, we already got our infantry loaded up into our APC. Just give them a move command straight to the drop-off zone Squad and don't stop moving. Um, by now you should have cleared out most of the land enemy units. So. At this point, it's all just a uh, matter of time, basically. Just gotta travel out of here. And our artillery is lagging behind, but honestly, uh, artillery is the one group of units I've never really been too bothered about losing, um, to be honest. One, because they're kind of a pain in the ass to keep alive sometimes. 
and two, uh, they do enough damage where I found their Impossible experience um, isn't crucial. At least so much okay, as um, the main battle pterodines and light pterodines, which I, and eventually heavy pterodines, um, whom having experienced I found to be uh, an insane uh, amount of help. Okay, Commander. Right, and basically what I did there was uh, I had um, squad 2 drop behind a little bit just in case there's any enemies on our path um, since he's, he was uh, taking the lead I didn't want him to be destroyed uh, in the opening fire and then uh, ending up having a squad killed in action as, uh, as I mentioned before only one unit needs to survive uh, to retain all the experience of that squad into the next mission and in the next mission of course you'll get you know whatever lost units back. Um, and if you do lose an entire squad and it's killed in action, um, you'll get a new squad to replace it of the same unit type for the next mission, so you always have the same amount of um, options in your loadout, although it will be um, at no experience. <laughs>